the camera pans, Drew is right there. And the way they told that story was Drew is still bent on Jay Uso and the bloodline yep. costing him everything. It needed to be Jay Uso who takes that Claymore. Yeah. Did it? Got up? I don't yep. even think at that point in time the announcers, because you know the announcers stir where they want us to think, right? Okay. Um, remember how J- um, JR used to be like, that goddamn Jezebel! Like that, he was telling us, we don't, you're not supposed to like her. But right. even Michael Cole was like, still like, yeah, you know, like he's justified on doing what he did. Mm-hmm. And then he walks, he walks, he walks and turns around. And even right there, I'm like, uh, is it straight? Is it is it a heel turn? And Bronx Legend, you brought up something before we um before we came on and you said it was the handshake. Talk about that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that handshake was probably long overdue. And if Drew would have took that handshake a little <laughs> early on, he probably would be champion right now. Did, did, out. did that solidify your heel turn? Yeah. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Inside the Storyline Podcast right here on YouTube. We are your host. I'm Dutch the Creator, Bronx Legend right there, and the man of the hour who's going to take us inside inside of raw last night because he was actually there baby he's the this is the first time somebody from the podcast been and there go ayla <laughs> been at raw since we started or been at a live show or whatever a show period since we've started the podcast a couple of months ago but um you got your boy zo black down there and on top of that we we, we, we are the greatest wrestling podcast known to man on the earth, baby. Which the world, Craig. <laughs> of the world, Craig. So we're going to get into this um, review of Raw, and we're going to start with Drew. We're going to go straight there. Um, so we had a main event. Tag team titles were on the line. Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso versus the Judgment Days, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Um, first, let's critique this match real quick. Um, Bronx Legend, give me a analyzation of this match and what you think. I think the match overall was pretty good. Um, there was some some good action going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, they 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 letting Damian uh, be the leader. You know, he 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 dropped that bomb on us last night. And, uh, I'm the leader. <laughs> like, look, 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 I got a little heated. <laughs> I Man. Said, you know, just said, but they said, look, going in the survive. That's that's exactly what you're gonna be. Yeah. So, yep. He he came with that with with. That I like how they did that though. I like but, how they did that. But I do think it. I think factions need a leader. I don't. I mean, they do. They they do. But if. I, I agree, but the way Judgment Day operates is like someone be, becomes the leader of a situation. Ooh, you I like that. Me? I like that. And I, I, like and I that. actually, I'm actually cool with that. That's how they should. Yeah. That's how they should do it, and they should articulate it to the audience like that. Like I'm, but I, but last night I think that's what they attempted to do. Yeah. Because yeah. listen. I'm going to tell y'all, of course, okay, so everything I'm expressing is from me being there live. Okay. Like, so when he said, I'm the leader, bro, the <laughs> crowd said, <gasps> like, you hear everybody. <gasps> yeah, like, I heard it. I heard it on. I heard it. it. Mommy ain't going to speak too well to that. <laughs> I was like, and that's, and that's crazy. I did think it real, really. So, <laughs> but. But if y'all look at that dynamic, the psycho psychological Rhea Ripley is the leader. No, a hundred percent. So 100%. when he said it, we think of Rhea like, oh, hold the fuck up. But we know it's no leader, but it is a leader. Rhea it, Ripley it, it, is the leader. Exactly. Because 
because crazy. even Rhea, even Rhea throws out the idea that Damon, I agree, you should be the leader for this situation. Yeah, like she still made the decision. Yes, <laughs> people, it goes over their head. Like she still made that decision, and everybody second and third. Thank you. So, but but that was the um, but that was the point I was trying to make. I think there, I think either. Either they gonna just sweep it under the rug and bring it back later, or they're gonna start to have situations where somebody takes the point. And I think that's what they may begin to do off the last night. Well, you know they always planting seeds. Yeah, Triple H yeah, exactly. planting seeds. That's exactly. all. And I wanna I really wanna know off subject, we're gonna get right back on it, but prime example, um, what's her name? Uh shit. Just had it in my mind. Um, the, the 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 girl who's just doing this, what's her name? Oh, uh, 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 uh Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross. Cross. There you go. Yeah, yeah. He's he's planning something with her. Yeah. He's is is yeah. and that package on whatever show she's gonna is gonna be revealed. It's gonna be showing all of this something something we ain't we ain't even paying attention to. Man, we just looking at her doing that but it i guarantee it's a storyline with that Mm -hmm. so i say that to say all of these little you know iterations of these things and these storylines and these ideas and everything that we're seeing is just gonna play like take drew at the end of the the his match she came up to him at a fifth she came up to him was like should have took our help right he 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 capitalized on it. Yeah, yeah. They 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 made it to where it culminated to what we seen yep. last night. And let's get on it. So we see Drew appear right there. Now, Zoe, did you see him? Like, because we just seen that's and that's what I wanted to speak on. So listen, everybody coming from the crowd. That uh-huh. is so crazy. That is so crazy. <laughs> because we get to see them running in. You know, on TV, right. you want to see them get in the ring. So, okay, so I'm going to start at the beginning when, um, when, was it, was it just real? No, it was Judgment Day when they came, when they came out. Oh, yeah, when the disqualification. So, right. you see Rhea and all, like, they came from, like, I'm sitting in the middle. Like, they came from my far right, bro, and they're just, Right in through the crowd. You didn't crowd just wow. Like, do you see the crowd reacting to a commotion? Yeah, you see, because you see, you see, like the people, of course, the people closest to them is gonna notice it first. Right. And then you just see the crowd gradually like, huh? 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 Like everybody like standing up. Like, it's like it go viral. Yeah. Like it just went viral with like one second within the crowd. That's tight. Yeah. And then you just see them running in like Drew. Drew his was a little bit more sneakier because uh-huh. he didn't run in. Right. He didn't run in. He walked. He literally walked. Like Drew literally walked from like. Okay, so we was in Capital One, one Arena. So where the basketball players would have come out at, mm-hmm. he walked from that turn. Okay. And he literally walked. He walked in. He walked through the crowd. Subtle. Yeah, that that Jason. Subtle. Yeah, like that Jason. Matt, Ford, he... That Jason walk. <laughs> And you came know, in and did it. Okay. No, no, no. That's it. You know, uh, when I went to mine, um, we didn't see Randy Orton. He literally Ooh. came out of nowhere because we were sitting <laughs> there watching. Be, bam! You like, oh, and he and he just got in the ring and was like, "Man, was like, yo, what? Where did he came from?" <laughs> I think so, they got some under the ring. Well, you can so, come underneath for Randy or something. So, yeah. so we see, and Randy Orton about to come up in this conversation, you guys. Um, I hope you're ready. Spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear anything, if you don't want to hear anything, people. Just, just when you, when just Thank mute us, mute, mute this, but keep it going. Get those watch hours, and then you know, hopefully we'll we'll be past that part when um when you unmute but anyway we'll just fast forward but anyway the camera pans drew is right there 
And the way they told that story was Drew is still bent on Jay Uso and the bloodline yep. costing him everything. It needed to be Jay Uso who takes that Claymore. Yeah. Did it? Got up. I don't yep. even think at that point in time the announcers, because you know the announcers stir where they want us to think, right? Okay. Um, remember how Jen, um, JR used to be like, that goddamn Jezebel! Like that, he was telling us, we don't, you're not supposed to like her. But right. even Michael Cole was like, still like, yeah, you know, like he's justified on doing what he did. Mm-hmm. And then he walks, he walks, he walks and turns around. And even right there, I'm like, uh, is it straight? Is it is it a heel turn? And Bronx Legend, you brought up something before we um before we came on and you said it was the handshake. Talk about that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that handshake was probably long overdue. And if Drew would have took that handshake a little <laughs> early on, he probably would be champion right now. Did, did, did that solidify your heel turn? Yeah. 100%. Yep. Yeah, because when you shake hands with Judgment Day, come on now. It's like shaking a hand of the devil. And then smile afterwards. Yeah. yeah. But I, we, we knew it was coming it was because coming. you seen how quiet he was last Raw. He didn't even say nothing. Mm-hmm. They literally showed him get out the car, get back in the car, and drive off. I said, oh, nah. It's dark. And, <laughs> and one of our uh, loyal followers brought, brought to light that when Drew busted his promo, it was purple lighting on him. Yeah. Remember that the last yeah. show? Yeah. Denisha, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so they've been, like you said, bro, they planting seeds, some stuff we don't notice, some stuff we do. And yeah. I I, it's, it's I, I, I now I now know where they're going with it. He's gonna win the championship. Because <laughs> next week it's going to be okay. she good, she good. Drinking too fast. Uh-huh. I, 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 yeah. My kids still do that. She 14. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing is, I think what's going to happen is next week, Drew and and Seth, that's going to spark another feud. That's good. That's Because yeah. Seth is going to be like, hold on, bro. You, you shook my hand before I left. You knew what you was going to do. You already made this deal. After or 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 that that's going to be their focus in in the war games match. They're going to continue <laughs> to tell stories, and like a lot of stories is going to come out of war games. So yep. at the I end just, of the day, whatever they go through in war games, that's going to lead to Drew versus Seth part two, yeah. and I think Drew is going to win the heavyweight championship, and I think that's the best way to do it and it keeps everything tight and he'll listen, be with the judgment day too that's listen it. yeah exactly what i was about to say i think drew gonna go full judgment day and win the belt and they're gonna have everything yeah they're gonna have everything and i like the note fellas jd mcdonough vest looks hey funny. yo finally this hey. Is looking crazy. hey yeah i'm trying I just had some fucking like goosebumps. I, I was, nah, I, I was rooting for my man for like four months, and he finally <laughs> fucking, he finally did it, man. It, 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 to, maybe a priest giving it to him made it that all too. better. Man, that was the icing. Look, so my man, he. I wish liked, they did a ceremony in the ring, though. I do wish they did a ceremony in the ring. Mm. They but might I, do it. They, but I like how they did it under the circumstances. Right, right. Like right. it was like it was like this is important, but us getting getting down to business is just as important. So you down with the crew, you good, roll out, and we're gonna get the business. I, I like how they how they kept that moving. But my man who went with me, so y'all know he before you uh, before you go there, mm-hmm. this is a great way how to turn someone super baby face. Y'all know JD McDonough can come out of this being a fucking baby face but go ahead no a hundred percent a hundred percent a hundred percent 
So my man, he doesn't really know like the storylines, mm-hmm. or he don't really like. He's a casual viewer. Yeah, so he he don't see how we see it now. So I'm telling him like, JD getting that vest is crazy. Yes, like JD getting cool. that vest. <laughs> he took a like, bunch of listen, the whole listen. The whole crowd was sized for JD, and everybody been doing judgment day all night. Yeah. But the crowd was so psyched for JD to get that vest. And when they put it down now and then, was black with the white in the... I was like, oh, yeah, cuz about to go hard with that vest. And, fellas, JD sounds good in live. Is it as good as it looks on TV? Oh, man. shit. Damn. <laughs> JD that dude, is... Man. He was selling last night, man. Oh, yeah. That's that dude, yeah. man. He, I... That man is really good. I, really and, good. And, and and you know what's crazy? I didn't know this guy, and um, <laughs> he's a a very a very um compelling and intricate part on the success of Judgment Day. And well, before you before you continue, bro, you know what he kind of remind me of at what? this point? He's like Sami Zayn in Bloodline. Ooh, mm. Mm. he fucking. He fucked him up. So the bomb on them. So, like man. that's what he that's what he's giving me. His his selling, the way he interact. And maybe Triple H just adopted that. Man. They do yeah. it all the time in wrestling. They they just yeah, like, yeah. iterate shit. But that's that's oh, I never thought about that. But you're, yeah, you're absolutely right. And that's, that's why I said he can he, turn into he, an ultimate baby face. Yeah. Because say 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 Finn turns on him while he's in it, and you know, say he keep fucking up. Now he's fucking up. Now he's costing the Judgment Day. Right. Soon as he get in, he start costing him. <laughs> and he can, he can, he can turn into a fucking Sami Zayn. Yeah. I, I, I like that. I like that. So, are we looking at? Okay. Let me let me let me tell y'all something. I don't know if y'all heard. And this is the spoiler alert, people. Randy Orton is going to be the fifth member of the the, the Cody Rhodes team. I want to see how they flip it then. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. The dirt sheets came out the other day. And basically, it's been it's been that for months. Yeah. Uh, like, it's been that. Like, that's been the plan. That uh, he's well, gonna, well, well, at least that he's going to be there. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. He's going to be a part of the team next no, week. You're saying, but you saying it's been that way for months. Which one? It like, like was he just was he supposed to just be there no, and be a part of the event? No, Drew. Was, okay, Drew. Supposed to have been in this match. The way this is played out mm-hmm. for about two months. Right. When Randy got cleared, that's when they added him to this right. match or whatever. Like next week, Randy Orton is going to because because next week they're going to solidify him um, being the fifth member. And yeah. you know during the show they're going to be like, who's going to be who who can Cody Rhodes get? Blah blah blah. And it's going to be you know the speculation all through the show. I and wish then, I could be there for that show. And then at Man. the end, I don't know how they're gonna set it up, but um, it's probably gonna be a brawl, and and they getting their ass whooped, and then we hear, "Hey, boy, this is in my oh my god, oh my god!" <laughs> that, that, that. Listen, the one hundred percent consensus around the arena last night when the show went off and people were leaving. Actually, that was another big chant. We want Randy. Oh, oh, I ain't hear that one. Dude, we chanted that, that last one. night. I forgot. We won't rent. Fellas, listen. When we were leaving, that was the 100% consensus that it is official that Randy will be that fifth guy in this one to happen. Mm. Everybody it's, it's, it's was literally. chanting we won Randy last night. And then the Drew situation, that only just was the, the nail. The only thing that will stop this is a catastrophic change that Vince McMahon right. just said fuck no like it's it's gonna happen like I knew that that's why I knew Drew was gonna happen 
last night at, at the main event through the dirt cheats. I was like, okay, they got two weeks, so they're going to give us Drew this week. They're going to give us Randy that week. And they, and we're gonna, I'm going to elaborate on this in the news section, news section when we do it, but they want to put out Randy not – they want to get rid of the CM Punk rumors. Yeah. They want to get rid of that because if you save Randy coming out at war games right then and there, you're still going to be anticipating Punk. So what they want to do is go ahead and put let Randy get that next role, and that's when it's going to happen. You know, so... Um, they still can have punk. They can be doing it on dip two different. They can want you not thinking about punk. So, you know, yeah. when punk arrive, you like, oh shit. Or they can be like, all right, we don't want you thinking about punk because he's really not going to come, and right. we don't want you coming there, getting your hopes up. You see what I mean? So it's a win-win situation. They still be chanting his name. Yeah, they, it they was happening at one of the shows. Gonna, I said, what? Well, well, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That was a random chant. Yeah. Too. Yeah, it's gonna happen. But hey, real quick, real quick. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed when in, in the beginning when Judgment Day came out and they were picking apart the members and talking that about hilarious. their yes. let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. There was that <coughs> one little scene that really made you think, and it was when they got to Seth. And they said, Seth, you the champ. He said but there's one thing you could never do, and that was the goal. Coach. And when they said that, it gave me Triple H Batista vibes. Ooh. Y'all remember SmackDown 1000? And he said, "This, this is me. never be me. Nothing this man hasn't done except beat me." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" Triple H yeah. know what the fuck he doing? Nah, he's cooking right now. You know what, what, what got me, though, when Seth came into the ring and they had that stare down? Cody, mm-hmm. I, I think Cody is second to Roman Reigns in facial expressions. Man. Like, <laughs> his shits be so, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, all that stuff... Because the was- way I... When, 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 when they had the face to face and Seth walked off, they kept the hard camera on Cody and he had this bewildered like and then I'm on camera. Oh. It's like, <laughs> when they when they was when they said uh and Cody, you can beat all of them. <laughs> But you can't finish. You can't finish. But you can't be the champion. Hey, they was as a judgment day was cooking on them last night. And then That's look, Cody like is is he the leader? Is he the leader? Had Dom the leader? Then he went to JD. They was like, oh no, no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Cody, Cody, I'm the leader. <laughs> now let's, let's talk about that. I'm the leader, dog. Damon Priest's voice was so loud on that and part. Deep as shit. He was like, Cody, shut up, I'm the leader. It was like, the whole crowd just sat back, like, what did he just say? And you seen everybody's face go to him, like, but mean, I, and, I like, <laughs> and I like when they went to the backstage segment when uh, Rhea was like, I don't know, let's ask our fearless leader. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 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 look. I was blue. Hold on. You, okay, you, you, if you get hot, you, you, you hit somebody. Oh, nah, bruh. You don't get hot and just say, I'm the leader. Like, after you just said, there's no leaders in the Judgment Day. Nah, he felt that in his soul. So, whole time we thinking, hold up. Whole time we thinking Damien go, go turn face. Damien may be the heel in the situation. <laughs> That's that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Inside That's the storyline, people. Um, Bronx Legend, can you give them our um our, our platforms? Because we 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 cooking today. I, I don't know. It's something in the air. We cooking today. Yeah, we got baby. a lot, we got a lot of fucking just revelations going on. I mean, we cooking <laughs> like shit. I ain't I mean, best podcast in the world. Get, get, get them out shit. 
best podcast in the world, not just on YouTube, but on Instagram, Inside the Storyline Podcast, TikTok, Inside the Storyline, Twitter, Storyline Inside. Yes, baby, that's yes, what we I... do, man. Um, we 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 are cooking. We got a lot of good ideas today, and um, let's let's take it to to. I want to go to. No, wait, 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 wait. Let, I, I I wanted to finish on the Seth thing. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, true, true, it, true. When when they said that Seth head went like if y'all paid attention, his head went down, and he just was thinking about it the whole time. Mm-hmm. Until he decided, okay, nah, I'm tired of talking. Let's fight. Because yeah, yeah. That he, that listen, he, that really messed with him. That pushed the button. That fucked with him. Yeah, uh, let's, that messed with him. He was like, "You're the champion, but you can't beat Cody." <laughs> like but they did have a segment where in the back, that even. Mm. That's what I'm saying. That that was hard for him to say. But I think yeah. that's planting something. I think it is too in a crazy way, but I don't know where it's gonna go. I really because think Cody can't he like can't it. challenge for that belt, man. No, uh, he can't. He can't. And oh. then I don't think Seth can go like full on heel and ch- and switch on the team. So, <sighs> but I do I'm think not, be, I'm yeah. not taking it off the table though. Yeah, I'm not because, because it's not even it's not even okay. Why did they? Why is they even telling us the story? You right, you right. Like because because when you look, when you really when you really think about it, let, your op is Cody, right? Your op is Cody. I fought this man three times, and I'm one the, of them, to which he wasn't even a hundred percent, and he still whooped my ass. Oh, motherfucker, I, I am. I, I, my pet went Cody. pop. <laughs> I always put against Cody, man. So when. What Jay is saying is this. I think... Mm, ah, but we got Drew in the... Uh, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But it could, be, it could be some slow burn type shit. But he don't need... All right, check it. That can be the feud after he lose the belt. Who, Cody and... Cody versus Seth, and Seth finally gets his win. Ah, because that needs a title. Because that feud wouldn't need a title. It it don't. It don't. The title is Seth winning. That's... that's, He needs to win, and that that probably is going to happen after Royal Rumble. Because I do believe... I, In my heart, I do believe that... Cody can it Rhodes be is going to win, huh? Can it be an accident in which Cody calls Seth the belt? Hmm? Give me, give me that scenario. I mean, I, I don't really have a definitive scenario, but I'm trying to figure. Like, I mean, of course they could just like pin them together, but it's gonna have to make a little bit of sense. I just noticed how much she looks exactly like. I was you, bro. just God. looking at her. Damn, and I was like, bro. Yo. Ooh, that is being that's like me and Jordan with you and Ayla. Oh my goodness yeah. gracious. Woo, nigga. <laughs> little, little mini you. Put, think, put, look, think. insert his beard on her is old. Yeah. <laughs> and dreads and shit. Like, but um look, look at that. Look, look at it. Yeah, man, come on. But I think I, I think go get Jordan from school and put on my god. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it can like it can it can it can I'm proud of you, brother. I'm proud of you. Just wanna let you know. Put that oh, on yeah, record. thank you. All right. I second that. Just trying to figure how can we get them there? Like That's what I, I love this though. This, don't I, don't we love not it predicting like it could be like the it could be a situation where Seth's blame him for losing the belt or something. I don't I don't know how they would play it. Because it it's not like Cody can come up there and really I, like cost them the belt. Okay, I got I got Drew winning the belt at Royal right. Rumble. Can we agree on that? Drew winning the belt at Royal Rumble. Okay, and I get I got that. I got that. Now, if you're saying to incorporate Cody in it somehow, some way. 
Cody. Okay. Just got. Damn, I'm good. I'm about to cook. About to cook. Get it ready. Get it ready. Just, just Y'all, know my Y'all know what we need. What we have in the kitchen. We about to cook. We need. We need. We need yeah, we like need. a little. I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna get a little little graphic or something. He's about to cook or you know, something, right? Oh my god. Oh, this is. Ooh, I, that's why I love this fucking brainstorming shit. Okay. Uh, we need that. Drew is going to either be with Judgment Day or or associated with Judgment Day. So, Drew is going to have someone in his corner. He's going to have someone from Judgment Day in his corner. Oh, Cody could be in Seth. And corner. Seth. Oh, my God. They just mm -hmm. emphasize, mm -hmm. I need you for that I one night. Mm -hmm. I need, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, y'all see the goose. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> I need you. They emphasize, I need you for that night. Mm -hmm. And Seth said, I'm going to be there for you that night. Now, he's right. going to, it's going to happen at that, like, he's going to save Cody or something. Mm -hmm. So, when Drew has the match with Seth, Finn Balor, whoever, going to be in your corner. You got us. Rhea Ripley is going to appoint someone to be in his corner. Mm -hmm. Because they all want that. They want the gold. Right. That's when Cody is going to come up to Seth and be like, bruh, you was there for me that night. I'm gonna be there for you on the night that you defend that championship. Uh -huh. And Cody is going to inadvertently cause that man the fucking championship. And then bam. That's a bomb ass story right bam, there. Bam, they got it. Ah, Cause the cause heat, the heat is already so woo! heavy. It's already so heavy. Elimination really chamber. Great. Cody Rhodes versus Seth Ooh. Rollins, baby. Oh, I like that. Elimination Chamber, too. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I, did I cook? Did I, you did cook. I, I cook. You cook. And you some, know what? Put some spice what if, on what that. If, what if Damian Priest was the one that had to be in Drew's corner with that damn briefcase? That's going to be what like. I was thinking, too. You're going to be like, I was thinking too. is he going to help or is he going to take it? himself you know so yeah, yeah. like he can yeah. he can he can um he can so did did did, did you hear did you hear what what i thought no nah, no nah, i didn't i didn't talk to him talk to him okay um what about Rick? judgment day is going to be in the corner red ripley is going to okay let me back up so we're going to have war games right so last night Correct. we heard Cody Rhodes asked him, look, I need you. I need you. Right. I, I need you that night. And Seth says, you know what? I don't like you, but I respect you. I'm going to be there for you, period. And War Games is going to be a situation where Seth saves Cody being, hence, I, he needed right. me. I got your back. I got your back. Mm -hmm. Now. With whatever is going on in the war games, that's going to create the friction from Drew and 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 and, and Seth. So therefore, they're going to have a match at Royal Rumble. But Rhea Ripley is going to say, "Look, either he's with them or just associated with them. Whatever, whatever that looked like. Um, we need. They could be like. They even could be like, look." If we can get him the belt, he'll join us. Yeah, join. Yeah, I like that. So, bet she tells Priest whoever to go out there and be in his corner, Drew's and corner. They don't even. They don't even have to come down the ring with him. They could just walk down later. Nah, nah. It's, it got to be. It got. It got to okay. be. It got to okay. be there. They're there. Okay. okay. And then, whatever role we're on, Cody comes up to Seth like, look. You had my back at War Games. Ooh. They said that they're going to have someone in Drew's corner. I got your back. I got your back. I'm going to be in your corner on your match. Right. 
So that goes to your your theory of Cody him causing he's going to do mm-hmm. something in inadvertently and they got to make it they got they got to have a good one because it can't be something malicious. You see, we yeah, can't look can't. at Cody like, "Oh, that's fucked up." It got to be yeah. something to where Cody ain't have nothing to do with it, but it appears he did. But he appears he did. Mm-hmm. And bam, and that uh, just to get Seth mad enough like motherfucker and then bam (laughs) elimination chamber cody versus seth seth gets his win and then Mm. they have an embrace like brock lesnar like that Ooh, i'm I'm about to cook again i'm about to cook again fuck that i'm cooking at the end of that match it's a (laughs) risk we need to use it's a fucking respect level (laughs) That comes from Seth and say, look, go finish your fucking story. Because he done won the fucking, he he he, he won the Royal Rumble. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah, he won, he, he won the Royal Rumble. But at the end of that match is a respect level to where the shield, the guy from the shield, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, I can't go get that. You go get that. Or they have Cody win again. And Seth just can't be Cody. But at the end of that match. Four times? God, man. I mean, look, sometimes you can't. <laughs> it's a streak, baby. Look, you can't beat me with my pack, gun. What the fuck? But, but that can lead. We always said what leads, what motivates What's the motivation to, to give us some something, some momentum? That can be his momentum, and it can be a heartfelt match. And then, bam, at the end, Cody wins. And then Seth, like. Maybe I can't beat this much. Maybe I can't, but fuck that. You go, you go get that fucking belt from that dude who I don't fuck with. Roman who, who only had 11 title defenses this year? Three. Y'all seen the stat line on that? That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, three he title 50, defenses. He he had 53 matches last year, like 11 this year. But Dang. he only defended the title three times. Yeah, that's crazy. I ain't I ain't seen that shit, and I ain't never see that shit. <laughs> like, God hey, damn. I'm gonna tell y'all. Yeah, he going on four years as the motherfucking champion. Yeah, man. Wow. Damn. I didn't think that was possible in today's time. I don't because how rapid information and damn, yeah, they really, some they really dragged shit. that out and it and it wasn't dry. That's cool. It wasn't dry. It was getting dry. So what y'all think about what y'all think about my cooking? What, what, what what's it flavorful? No, I'm with you. I'm I with think you. Cooking. I really think he's cooking. I, I, I personally, if I was Seth and I lost the fourth time, I'm healed. I'm, I'm no, not, listen. I'm I'm not, he goes away. He goes away for a couple of months. I'm with you, Jay. If I was the Cody, George Hines. Listen, I ain't gonna wait to the next show. I ain't going to wait to the next pay-per-view. I'm going to beat you with a chair right after the game. <laughs> I'm you think he's going to go hit him? That's it. If he loses to Cody four times, we beating him. Well, can we get there? Okay, could he could he tell a losing Cody Rose go off and beat no, Roman? Not, hell no. no. I'm not wishing luck. Like, get out of here. That's why I said, he, that's why I said Cody has to win. <laughs> <laughs> he can't just lose. <laughs> no, you can't. But that's so funny. After, after the, winning scared. the Royal Rumble? Come no, on, you can't. <laughs> oh, but, we don't, but we don't need Seth to lose to him four times in a row. We don't need that, man. If I'm <laughs> Seth, look, that's not AJ. Hey, that joint ain't even in the script. They he gonna just go- lost <laughs> his belt and then right. going to lose. To Cody, like, damn, bro. AJ hey, Seth going rogue after that, Joe. So that oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he going hey, fuck them shoes, fuck them high. I ain't giving you no bug. Yeah, okay. Transfer yeah, okay. anything, nothing. <laughs> All right, baby. Let's let's get to the Miz and Gunther, man. Ah, oh, I was late. Oh. Hey, what y'all Miz, thinking? What y'all think? Miz is listen. 
Miz is like he's like glue. Like he he like glue or a Swiss Army knife, man. <laughs> that dude can do everything. Man. He can do everything. And last night, his promo in front of Gunther when he said, I show you the difference between long is rainy and the best champion ever. I said, Oh, I like that. <laughs> I said, I like that. <clears throat> But Miz, Miz, he he did that. I I like how he won the match. Mm-hmm. I like how he won the match. It was it was good. It was good, man. Hey, real quick, off topic. This is the question that I didn't get a chance to ask you though. You seen Samantha Irvin fine ass? Oh my! Oh, Hold on! Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. So I'm telling my man. I said, yo, that's Ricochet White. Or his fiance, whatever. Yeah, this is I'm like, say. so she go in the ring for the title jump. Mm-hmm. When she's getting out, it's still kind of dark. Where it's like a silhouette walking across the arena. Mm-hmm. Bro. Like mm-hmm. you can see every curve in her dress. Mm-hmm. I was God. like, dog, mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. Dang, and she, she looks like, like that. So good too. Listen. Mm-hmm. I said when when she got out that ring, I said, "Dog, you can't really see every curve on that woman right there." So, and and it was it was a little weird when she was holding her stomach for a minute. It looked like she was a little pregnant, but then when she got out and I sank, I was like, "Oh, no, she ain't pregnant." That's oh, that's right there. Nah, <laughs> hey, nobody will blame her. She got a daughter already, though. Yeah, is her and Ricochet daughter, or is that just? Her? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Man. But yeah, she was looking good. I was telling my man, I was like, bro, that's Ricky Shay lady right there, bro. She oh, you saying you saying a good like you saying when that. she got out the ring? When mm-hmm. she got out the ring, when she uh, cakes, you see them cakes? Bro, listen, like I was telling mm-hmm. Jay, it was like a silhouette walking across mm-hmm. the arena, bro. Like it was a lowest dark still, but it was like light still on her, and you just ah. her. Mm-hmm. she had on like she had on this real she had on this real tight dress. I had like a slit mm-hmm. on the side. Mm. Yeah, like, oh, God. <laughs> it's just looking. Yeah, it, she is looking. she all black or do she got some Hispanic in her? No, I think she got some Hispanic in her. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. He was looking good last night. But yeah. but do y'all let, let let's let's really um because I've been I, I was thinking I was like I was looking at the pros and cons. Of Miz winning the belt back? Yes. Mm. Like, do you <laughs> think they would do that? I think they would do that. You think they would do that? Listen, only because Miz is so good. And and he's... It's not like they, they were saying, the- let's go, Miz. I'm like, Yes, wow. yes. Okay. Listen, Miz was getting so much love last night. Miz was getting big love last night. Like, yeah. the- I was showing I'm, Miz- I'm digging this, because whenever they... when. Whenever they turn him face, it was just it, it, it didn't rock white with me. But this face turn okay, seems funny. to be a little different. Funny though. So when they go on break, they mm-hmm. play I don't know what commercials y'all see, but they play some like wrestling related commercials in the arena. Mm-hmm. And they be showing the promo for something. Um I think it's a hill documentary that they have called Evil. I don't know if y'all seen that commercial. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, they was, if y'all remember, me and said, I, I like Babyface, but it's nothing like being a hero. I love mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. It's, the man just can do everything. And they not putting the belt on the scrub. And, and I think, I think, if anything, I feel like they should have some type of, uh, some type of beef. Cause I, I like, bro. Miz was getting big love last night. Like for real. When, when they had when they had the segment of him and Gunther in the back, what what was that like with the crowd and everything? the crowd was going crazy? Especially when he when he said the part when he was like, "I show you the difference between long lasting, being the longest lasting, and the greatest ever." <laughs> like he was talking, talk to that man. But I like and, how I like how Gunther in, uh, in, ended. He was like, "Oh, I know who I'm dealing with." Like the uh, way he said it, like, 
Yeah. You, you bitch ass motherfucker. Like, I, I'm, I'm about to fuck you up. And he said <laughs> it. I, I, look, I'm a Gunther fan. Like, and I believe him. You know what I'm saying? He, I'm going to give you the worst woman you ever had in your motherfucking life. Yeah. About that to I'm fuck like. you up, bro. Like, they setting Gunther up for. Ooh. Man. Oh, let me find that. We need, we need to find something, something to, mm. Every time I get a motherfucking mm. idea Oh my god talk, People talking about when Brock Lesnar Gonna return baby mm. Mm. Brock Lesnar could re- return To Cause my man The motherfucking belt Because look which The The best feud Is what you cost me Mm. And that's a way to solidify Miz winning, and we ain't even questioning and, this shit. And then we can have, and then we can begin to have Gunther fight in heavyweights, quote unquote. Because Brock Lesnar, he ain't fighting for no little belts. Brock Lesnar coming in, he hurt, and and they need to give him that reason. Because they need to give him that reason. Look. Oh, oh, you, 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 you the next big thing. You, you, you dominant. You, 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 nah, that's me. I ain't giving up that yet. And he come in, calls him the motherfucking belt. Miz get that show. Like, that's how Miz win all his championships over of some fuckery. Cause the rock came in, bam, and John Cena, he looked. Oh shit! Oh, and what did what what did Miz say to I Gunther? I do anything to win. Mm-hmm. And you see what did last night. One last night. Little mm-hmm. bags up on the rope. And yeah. I think that will bring up Brock Lesnar coming in, causing him the match, getting Miz the belt, and that started not feud. Now their first match at Royal Rumble. Brock, cr- I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm gonna put it out there. Y'all about to be mad. He squash. He squashes Gunther. Like yeah. he squash is the squash. Like straight up. And Gun that that brings Gunther. That has Gunther. Cause Gunther is high on himself. That's his character, right? But that squash can make him think about himself like damn am i that good am i that good and you know we think giovanni vinci and ludwig is gonna you know go away from him at this point but they give him his confidence back to where he challenges um brock lesnar for a match at wrestlemania what y'all think that's sweet. I mean, That's sweet. if if Triple H need to fucking hire me. If Lewick, <laughs> if Lewick doesn't turn on them first, yeah, because the way he was looking last night, last night was crazy when he when he gave Giovanni all that uh all yeah, that. Yeah, he's pressure. playing. He's playing. He he's fucking with them. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking with them, and and it's fucked up. But that's. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna both fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. Hell, they might be the reason he lose the damn belt in the that, first they, place. That, another, mm-hmm. that could be another thing. Because they yeah, said Brock ain't Brock probably be out for the rest of the year. Um, yeah. But let me ask y'all a question. Should they just keep doing this with Roman where like he don't even say anything or appear after he rolls out? For, for months like should he just be like I'm out or do y'all like that that he just he wins the match and then you just don't see him again what y'all think about that I kind of I mean I do and I don't because it's like I'm the tribal chief like hey, I was just about to say that He's you know what I'm like, I won and I go I go back and handle some other business I don't gotta ask you. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah here you go <laughs> okay okay He'd be like, yo, Paul, I don't like what you're wrong. Because if he, okay, because if he do appear, somebody else is about to challenge him. 
Yeah. Okay, I, I get it. I, I, I get it. I get, but again, I get it 90%. We're, we're, we're coming up on the tail end of things. So, he he on the way out. Man. But they say AJ back is going to be his 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 um opponent for Royal Rumble. AJ. AJ Styles. Cuz wow. Because damn, bro, you 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 just do some shade, God. Nah, they they whoa, they whoa, what, whoa, the way you. What are they fighting for? I mean, they gonna create it, but damn, Jay, what the I'm fuck? I'm just was saying, that? I'm like, for what? We seen this already. Me, no, we didn't. We he has never challenged for the undisputed championship. He, They've had four before. No, they fought before, but he has Ooh. not. Challenge. He's he's one of a little bit of people who has not challenged for that. I could have swore he beat AJ already. No, he beat him, but he ain't beat him for that belt. Like the the tribal belt. chief never beat AJ. AJ never faced the tribal chief. He faced Roman Reigns. Mm. He faced okay. the big dog. Okay. And. Yeah. It's gonna it's it's gonna happen because they was gonna have AJ return this week, but they're 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 lining it up with his return and everything. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna build it. They're gonna build it. I think it's gonna be for a Royal Rumble, and he's gonna win, of course. <laughs> and um, his next his next his next thing should be Cody, man. <laughs> This shit feel like I'm on a Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter going through all of the fucking levels. Like, bro. hey, did y'all, did y'all Just see Just when that? you think you at the boss, there's another motherfucker pop up. Mm-hmm. Did y'all see, did y'all see the main where Cody was at AEW and he hit the dude with the, uh, with the crossroads from the, from the ladder and said, if this is not how WrestleMania 40 ends, then what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Do it be, should 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 it yeah, like a um, like a winner takes all. Like um, losers, loser leaves town. Uh, a, a retirement match, like something. Yeah. I, I want something. They, they, I want something more was, than a title they, on the state line. I, I want this they, shit to be big. They, like they they just saying, Cody, you need to be winning that belt. Hit him with that 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 Brock Lesnar joint. That's what Reigns did to Lesnar. He said, after this, you can never challenge for the title ever again. Well, Cody, yeah. no, 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 no. They don't want to do that with Cody unless he wins. Well, yeah, because he, if he wins. They did yeah. that with, <laughs> he made that mistake in AEW, which mm-hmm. everybody told him not to do, but he's the VP, and Tony allowed him to do it. If I don't win this, I think it was a match against Chris, Chris Jericho, I, I can never... <laughs> I can never challenge for the AEW belt again. Like, why would you do yeah, that? Yeah, why would you do that? Yeah, you could change well, 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 it. Well, they say as long as he holds it, you can never challenge for it. Uh, um, as long as he's the champion. Was it yeah. Was it he the champion or just period? Not well, I think I got, I got as, as, long as, as long as Roman is the champion, he can never challenge for it. Oh no! I, I was talking about um, AEW and oh, and, oh, oh, and, and, oh, and Cody. I don't think Cody won get into that 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 type of match again. Like I don't, I don't think he want to even touch that. But you know what? Speaking of the type of match, I don't want it to be a regular ass match. I want I it to be something different. So I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Hey. Burning back <laughs> this is just this is all I think about when we talk about you about the kids. <sighs> but the thing is, with I I, I don't want to because I think Roman needs some. I don't think Roman should be. I don't think he should be dethroned clean. 
but no, and, and that, it shouldn't be a regular match either. It shouldn't be the your because he needs one, something two, to say why he lost that belt. Yeah, but I I think it but should it still be, need to be definitive. Okay, right. I I, I think they should do some the shit that they don't usually do. All what about the time. hell and what about hell in the cell? No. I was thinking more like three stages of hell. I ain't never heard of that shit. You gotta bring that, what? that shit. I'm not. No, you know what three stages of hell is, right? It's, I I do vaguely, but it ain't been a lot of those matches. Last That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I never heard of it. We're, so three it stages of hell down. could it? Well, the first match could be a false count anywhere. Yeah. The second one could be a like, hardcore, and the third one like, could be a hell in a cell. Yeah. Wow. That'll really put somebody through their paces. Yes. If 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 I said I lost to Cody. I said, well, that's not fair. I had three matches in one night. I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. That's some that's some shit. If I need an excuse. Can you can you can you name when that match had happened so I can, you know, um I wanna say Stone Cold. Who was it? It was Stone Cold and somebody. Let me see. Hold on. That sounds like some mankind shit. No, it definitely do. Cause um, either that or last man's not not. Oh, so man's. look, Jay, it's a it was it's a two out of three. Yeah, so you got to win two out of three. Okay, here we go. different yeah. types of matches. So yeah. one was Triple H, one there was Triple H and Stone Cold at No Way Out. Yeah, okay, I, I'm I, I'm gonna have to look at that one. Uh, the other is Shawn Michaels and um, Triple it's H. Like, dude, bro, why did this egg? So it that. ain't even a lot of matches like that. They, they, they didn't have a lot of three stages of hell because, I, you know, you were literally... Because it sounds familiar as shit. Yeah. You, because you got to think about that. You, you probably coming out of pocket to pay two people to do three different matches. Okay, so look. Right back in Cena had one. What? Really? Yeah. Wow, that I'm, recent? Randy. Okay, I can give y'all the years. <clears throat> so... 2013 payback. Mm. Y'all I may seen have seen it. I may have seen it. I don't, mm. Damn. Randy Orton, Triple H, 09. Damn. Wow. That, mm. I was out. Dog, if this ad for McDonald's keep popping up, <laughs> oh, that kid, I don't want no damn McDonald's. <laughs> Maybe you do. <laughs> the algorithm is never wrong, baby. <laughs> They gonna force it. Ba, da, ba, ba, ba. All right, that, I hit. Um, okay, it's it, side, like side, it. side note. I hit on one of those Viagra Jones. They they got the chew shit and all of that <laughs> shit. Blue chew, oh, blue no. chew. Y'all be getting it. I just hit on it once, just to see what what the fuck is about now. And I'm getting every blue chew. Go through Instagram. Oh blue my chew. god, bro! <laughs> I'm, about to shit. I'm like, I'm about to order one, but go ahead. <laughs> and they better work. Nah, for real. <laughs> you got me hard for, for four hours. We 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 about to get some man real Let quick. Let me know. So I'm call a doctor. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to call a doctor for? <laughs> but go ahead, bro. Oh, am I going to triple H O two? Mm-hmm. Wow. Like, well, yeah. This was, well, this was, mm, damn. It do sound familiar, though. I'm just saying yeah. to make it interesting. That would be that would be um and that can be his last mm-hmm. you know um barriers. Triple H and Randy. Wow. These are some good people in these three stages of hell. Yeah. I gotta go watch them joints. And and then and, and, you know when you when you do it, you have Roman win one, Cody win one. And then yeah, it come down to that last match, that, that hell in the cell. Mm-hmm. And then that shit just coming down to. Yeah, do 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 do. And it's like that. You were talking about a WrestleMania. They gonna Ooh, remember? Hey, man. Triple H. Triple H's gonna do something, man. I'm, I, I hope he. Somebody does. call. Get get Paul on the phone. Call get Paul. Man, get Paul on the phone. <laughs> um, that does it look like? 
What y'all thinking of um, Shinsuke Nakamura? Hey, yo, what's his vignette as good on as in person as in TV? On TV? Oh, yes. Let me know about that. What, what's, what's going on? Hold on, sit down. Dog. That joke came out of nowhere, though. <laughs> like, like that joke just popped up on the screen. Like, oh, man. Got the smoke in the background. Who's he, Who we think he talking about, though? Right. Who is it? I don't know. He mushed the hell I out don't. of his head after that match. He said, said, he <laughs> said in the joint, he said, you, look at look at that. Man, send me mm. all of that, bruh. Mm. Oh. He said, you, you, you have, um, it's like a privilege. You have a privilege. It's something where the person is given something that they didn't earn. So who could have it ain't Seth. Did that. I don't know. I hope they ain't playing it by ear and they just doing shit. I hope they have a plan. Hey, y'all know who else got a real big pop last night? Alpha Academy. Like Let's you. talk about them. Um, I'm thinking, Let's, I'm thinking that you go, called it too. Go ahead. Uh, last time I was on, uh, before I got sick, the Creed Brothers. You called that. I don't, I re- think, they, I don't you, think they gonna get with Alpha Academy though. I don't think they are. I think, but you was alluding more to the similarities yeah and and i think they understood they, they it. together on the next on the next show mm-hmm. and tozawa yo could then use the <laughs> Ooh, that's nasty, <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> look and then he had the dc he had the dc championship belt the crowd went nuts off hey no listen i'm, I'm gonna tell you something listen washington dc hates the commander so bad Mm. They booed when they showed the championship belt for the Mets. Mm. Wow. Crazy. Dang. Wow. If, if you had a Dallas Cowboy jersey on, on the Jumbo Tron, you got booed. And if you had on anything Washington Commanders, you got booed. Because, you know, most Washington people fuck with Dallas. Yeah. Like you able to do what you don't. Like our aunt. Yeah. Aunt Deborah, she fucking... <laughs> Man, everything Love is it. fucking. I mean, down to the goddamn bed. Spread. Like you go in her fucking apartment. This is all fucking wow, wow. That's what we doing. But, but um, Zawa, that was that was funny to see in person because you remember when Otis was fighting and they went to commercial. He was doing that before they went to commercial. And man, that was that was funny to see last night, man. And then everybody coming in, New Day, in the house, the whole crowd saying everything. New Day, WWE. Y'all think New Day ever gonna be champions again, or they just gonna be a nostalgia act at this point in time? I think they're gonna be a nostalgia act. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think they got no, one. It's no, it's no reason to put. The belts on because there's so many people coming up and so many people. But but that's what I was about to say. I think they got one more title run. But if they them. yeah, if yeah. they do do it, it'll be for like the Creed brothers to win. Like, <clears throat> yeah, give it give it somebody. Yeah. Exactly, I can agree with that. Oh, yeah. hard. Like, I, I can agree with that. Um, like they can win it on some like nobody expected them to. And then they can have like they title reign, and they can go against up and comers, and then they can drop two. Man, where uh-huh. the fuck is Jay Cargill? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I see her on her Instagram. She, I was just, what the I fuck was, is going on, y'all? Yeah? I think she's she's gonna be the fifth. I think the ladies are gonna have a war game. She's gonna yeah. be. The fifth. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. She's gonna be. She's gonna be the fifth because Damage Control already got five. Mm-hmm. Y'all think they're going that way? Yeah, well, uh, that's why they that's why they show all the women on the raw jump last night. Mm-hmm. I hope they don't put Shotzi in there, and I love her. I don't like Shotzi. She's fucking. They're gonna listen. Shotzi I don't. Like I don't like her hair right now. And that's really. I don't cool. like her. Like her character is just 
not doing it for me. Like she's just but she seems like a she seems like a fucking get wit or 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 that that little brother or sister that you don't really want going with you nowhere. Like but but yeah. your mother said you gonna take your brother with you and you like You can't go they don't go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> you wanna go or not. Like, come on, yeah. Shit. So But I mean, who else they gonna put in it? Nah, it's going. It's going to be Bianca. It's going to be Charlotte. It's going to be Shotzi. They're going to put her in there. Yeah, they're but going to put her in there. Jade is definitely going to probably be the fifth member. I don't know who I else is going to be in there. Bro. Jade to be with nobody or no faction or no. I don't think. But I, I, just I think to, she need to be think, straight up yeah. by herself. Maybe man. they feel like she ain't ready to be solo. I don't. Yet. I don't. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, and and they probably ain't even telling her the truth. Like, I think she's probably haven't been performing the way they thought she was. They expected her to? That's why you... Because it's been weeks. Bro, mm. weeks? It's been two months. Oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, like, come on. <laughs> she I'm did moving so fast. Pa- she did two pay-per-views. Like, come on. Like, what the yeah. fuck is going on with Shorty? And my thing is, nah, you don't even have Survivor. to have her fight. Like, what are they Survivor. waiting for? I don't know, man. You're right. You're right, though. Maybe the she fuck? isn't performing how they expected or catching on as fast as they expected. To be a singles run. But yeah. they said, we put her with somebody. Put her with somebody's. Somebody's. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, I don't even want that. Like, I want... For her, for for they they portrayed her as this this commodity that they just purchased. So look, I need you to treat her if, as such. What if she joins and beat a five, and they win or lose? Because I don't think it really would matter. They win or lose, and she just turned. If you just turn on somebody from that group, probably preferably Bianca. I called that last time. Remember? Everybody, that's what everybody want to see. Bianca? Huh? I, I said, I was talking to Dutch. I said, I called that last time. I said, what if she turned on Bianca? And that started their thing going to. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I can kind of see that. Like they go through the whole war games, this, that, and the third. And, okay. And maybe Dre. In some way, some somewhere fashion, uh, somebody cost, uh, say, say, uh, yeah, she's trying to, you got people? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. good job, she maybe me. she tries to do a move. She <laughs> said, Come on, <laughs> I, said, Fuck that. I said, Fuck We talking. gotta pee, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pee. <laughs> But the thing is, is, it's more on. Um, I just want her to to debut. I just want it to be the biggest debut in a long fucking time. You know what I mean? Because the way they was pitching that shit to us, it was as if um, a goddess was coming through. You know what I mean? So, I mean, yeah, that's not, and that's that's organically her character, but she got to be, she got to be on that level, wrestling wise too, and she may not true. be, you know, like she may not be on that level because in AEW they didn't require her to be on that level because they just had her squash motherfuckers. Yeah, and her matches wasn't that long, and she and wasn't even. She was green as shit. Yeah. Like a lot of her stuff, you could see she was green. So they seen that and they was like, "Mm, hmm. That's why they probably should have just signed her, kept it silent. Mm hmm. Because they was throwing her in our fucking fucking face, man. Like, like, that's what we doing. All that. So, So like I was saying. She can cost her something. Like, Jay can be trying to do a move. She can knock the person off. 
Well, Jay is trying to do like her kick, and then Bianca like grabs that person and do her finishing. Remember when um Bianca and Charlotte had their little thing when they was tag team partners? They was trying to outdo each other. Yeah. It could be similar to that within the match, and that kind of pisses Jade off. Like, like, oh, you're trying to upstage me because I'm new. This, then the third, and ultimately, either whether they win or lose, because it, it don't, don't need to, it they don't need to win or lose for it to happen. Those scenarios just to have have to happen in match. And then she just turned. So do do you want Jade as a heel? I do. Bronx. I think she'll be a good heel. Yeah. But is she gonna get booed or uh, or cheered? She's probably gonna be. She's probably gonna get cheered. Yo, that's so weird because Rhea is a heel and bruh, everybody. Yeah, she, she gets yeah, cheered. She get yeah. Let me ask you about that. Last night on her promo with Adam Pierce, when she came out and said the same guy, "You want to play games?" Like, bruh, you mm-hmm. did the same exact shit. Nah, he, <laughs> yeah, he killed me with that. He killed me with that. <laughs> Her he promo, can't... her promo against um, Pierce and um, Zoe Stark. How no. how was that? How was that received? Was it cheered or or what? It was kind of. Oh, I told you it was kind of. It was kind of like mixed. Like everybody was listening, but when Rhea hit the mommy's always on top, man. Everybody gonna hit that. Mm, man. And then, like I told you earlier in the joke, everybody was chanting, "We won, mommy!" Like. She's like she could go any direction right now. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the hell was Tegan Knox trying to do or scare her by jumping on the top rope or something. I was trying okay, to so look, so she almost failed twice. Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> she almost failed twice. The dude beside me was just yelling, "Botch, botch!" Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so, but I didn't know it. No. She almost failed last night, y'all. She jumped up on that jaw, almost failed. <laughs> and, hey, the female matches weren't that bad. Like they weren't bad. Like, I didn't like it that was, Piper Niven joint. I did. Yeah. I did. Piper just big as shit. <laughs> no, listen. It was going on there. It, it was, was a cool. It was Tegan for me. Tegan just wasn't. I, hmm. Yeah, that. But that's what I was about to say. I think it was a it cool was, story. It was it was because too it was, Mitch match like I don't know <laughs> like she was too little and she yeah was too like how can little. this girl whoop you like you but come that's on, why I like, you big I, as shit no and I feel you but that's why I like that she was squashing her majority of the match but she ain't like win. she was helping her but she she didn't win. Yeah, it was I, uh, how could how could that little girl beat you she hit her with the shiniest wizard man, that, oh, man and then you ain't even that shit ain't even connect like that shit ain't even nothing Mm-mm. shit ain't the come on wizard. like i give it to to the little asian chick that that they be yeah, knocking Zion motherfuckers like out her. yes like and her titties Let's... is off the chain yeah Zion Lee can get it <laughs> hey, oh dre let me say two things because you mean, are already don't, on my head don't jump on my head my goodness gracious. Look, the first thing, the crowd was so confused. We were so confused. Like, that was the good sale. Like, we thought we thought she accidentally rung Shorty Bell. Yeah. Yes. But that's how I like, was with the last two people that she, she did. She, she yeah. gives that the legitimacy. Crowd really was confused. Mm-hmm. That's how and I was with so, the first one. Because yeah. when she did um Shorty, I was like, is this real or not? like Ray? I don't know. What, <laughs> till this day, I don't know what that Ray shit was. <laughs> I think it was real. I don't know, but I thought this that shit was. But now and I know it's a it's a work. It's, yeah, it's that's her work. thing. That's her thing. But yeah. but I, I like it and I like her look. Like she ain't got no ass, but so check this out. So after all that <laughs> went down with Becky. Becky came out and she and she got out of the ring, bro. They kept putting her on the jumbotron, 
And I'm just like, dog. She has some bomb ass titties, Mo. Mm -hmm. They perfect. Like, and they know what the fuck they doing, too. Like, bruh, she got them Jones done. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a that's a memoirs of a geisha special Man, right there. God, and and, and, and it looked like she put oil on them and shit. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Look, I mean, my see Dre looking at the jungle trying like, hey, bro, she got them toes. <laughs> and she look all mean and Asian. Like, yeah. Uh, just... <laughs> well, did you hear? Did you hear where they said she's from? Ching Chong, China. Ching. Bro, is that a place? That's that some a... racist shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a place. Let's let, let, look it up. This ain't no goddamn place. <laughs> 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 Every guy I, when she was from. Let me see. Everybody went crazy for that. Ching, 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 Ch. Hold that on. That didn't sound like a rope. Nah, nah. Ching, Ching, Chong ass on Hold up. Ching, <laughs> Chong, China. Is it a place? Ching, 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 Ching. Ching Chong and Ching Chang Chong are ethnic slurs. Bruh. Right. It's just Used like we to thought. mock or. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. That's fucked up. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Ching Chong and Ching <laughs> Ching Chong effing slurs used to mock um, or imitate the Chinese language. Wow, it's not even a thing. It's not even a. It's thing. not even a thing. It's not even a word, mm -hmm. bro. Like, oh, that's fucked up. They say is the word Ching Chong racism? Yes. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Wow. That's what they said she from? That's what I swear that's what it Ching sounds Chong. like. Ching Chong China. I said Ching Chong. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. That's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. Um, but when but when Becky came out, hey, crowd went stupid. Baby Shark. Mm. The thing is, um They got a they, maybe they said Chong Chong Queen. They they got a charm queen. Nah, I do seem like look, man, Shorty is a little bad a little jump. Yeah. Um <laughs> what else we had on raw, people? Um D I Y I am not feeling I'm not feeling I'm not feeling D Y I. I don't like D I Y um, D Y D D I Y. Do it yourself. Um do it yourself. Um they need not to do it themselves and um just have Champa as as a motherfucking um I don't like I don't like the other guy. Gargano, no, no, Gargano? No, no, I don't like him. Hey, I, 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 like, I like Champa going, going to like. He, how you gonna take Gunther to his motherfucking limit and then just re, not give me that again? Like, come on, man! Like, take my man out of the motherfucking. Like, you, you still putting Bronson Reed in this, in this, in this shit, and Champa need to be in that motherfucking um hey. continental. When, when my boy hit tsunami last night, the whole crowd went. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you about that. Tsunami. And check it. Yeah. I thought they was gonna give Ivar a type of Viking um voice voice, but they gave white. him a straight up white man. Right, white. Look. Listen, on, I'm bro. glad you said that. That's sounds like he's from so the stock market. <laughs> like really, bro. <laughs> <laughs> from Syracuse. <laughs> Listen, when he bust that promo, and he, didn't, and he didn't give me no. Yes, I wanted to. You think you can like, do something to me, man? Like I want that. I want. I want to. I, I, I'm a Viking fan. Like the show. Like I want Ragnar. I want Ragnar. Ragnar. Like, I like thought Ragnarok was coming by uh, hollering all that, Slim. You sound a little light. This man said, hey, Miz, what do you think you're... <laughs> Hold the fuck up! Oh. Like, what? Uh -huh. what was going nah. on? That, that was disappointing. You think you can no. get an opportunity? Like, oh, oh, <laughs> opportunity. Like, you, you're pronouncing oh, all the fuck. <laughs> Hold on, Karen. Oh. Triple. <laughs> 
Nah, that Why was they that do was, that, yeah. That was disappointing last night, bro. I ain't gonna lie. When he started talking, I was like, Viking, regular Joe Blow. <laughs> what you doing? Here? That's you fucked dude. me up, man. One dude that you hang out with that's asking where's the weed. Like that's the voice that he had. <laughs> yeah, that was that was bad. He he like ran down on the associate in the aisle and was like, "Sir, where's your uh, where's your?" <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, bro. is it this way to the bathroom? Um. <laughs> nah, I was I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling the voice name. My portfolio was you know just just not right today, so I figured that I you know just um just take my portfolio and 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 and, and maximize it to its biggest potential no nah. that's the fuck what the f <laughs> i wasn't feeling that even last night i promise i said the exact same thing i was like this dude is not a viking, Yo, not a viking was last night. it wasn't even no aggression <laughs> you know what miss <laughs> like whoa man no nah, it was it was terrible because we've been, like we been seeing this guy for months right and they've been slicing him. <laughs> they've been slicing him. <laughs> and then when he opened up his mouth, he's a goddamn corporate lawyer, man. These he's the people uh, that was sitting behind the monitor. A was lawyer. Promo and was like, what happened to his voice? <laughs> oh, wait, I, wanted, uh, I wanted it to be like some gritty. <sighs> yeah. I want you. I want to kill you. I want to yeah. I want to I want to take you. Valhalla like Yeah, I did not up. get that, bro. Valhalla sound uh -huh. more. Yeah, Valhalla. Sound... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say one word that gave me more viking than him. <laughs> How about you just not have him talk if he right. couldn't do it? Like remember they used to have Kofi have the Jamaican mm -hmm. accent and then have um um Rusev's wife Lana do the you know, Russian she did that. Russian is real good. Yeah, I mean, she, she did the damn thing until yeah, she that didn't. Yeah, was, that, was, that was bad. This I'm is the real Seth. Like, mm -hmm. I love that shit. Just keep yeah, it going, you know? Um, and if you don't want to, if you understand, okay, eventually they're going to have to lose that shit, just not have him talk. Just let Valhalla talk for him. Great, exactly. Give him a mouthpiece. Cause he straight up sound like a straight up suburban dad, like yeah. for real, yeah. Like that. that just that just fucked me up from Ivar, and I'm sure a lot of people thinking the same fucking shit. Like if you never seen him and heard his voice, <laughs> I if I was talking to that man on the phone, yeah. I would think that he's he's taking my insurance information. Right, like and he's, he's definitely been... rolling up in a Prius. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was bad. That, that his voice, voice his voice sound like a Prius, but his body looked like he need to be on a Harley. That I'm so confused. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you absolutely no. right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I swear I thought because I was sitting in here, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> what the fuck was this, man? Like, why would they have him talk? Yeah, that was bad. That was my instant thought. As soon as he started talking, I was like, okay, they's not matching us. He don't sound Viking at all, man. Yeah. Um, what else we had? Um, Tegan uh, Knox. She Tegan. she wins. I don't know why she kissed Shorty on the face like that. But it's the cool. female, the female uh, promo in the back. Yo, she so kissed Natalia on the face. When Is that uh, some lesbian shit going on. When Raquel, when Raquel and uh, yeah, Knight, let's talk about that little promo. Mm -hmm. You can see Zoe old face like in between them in the back. That shit was blowing me. Yeah, yeah, what that not? Hmm. Hey, bro, hold on, yeah. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me show y'all something real quick. Bro, you can get sold shit. She's towering over all. Yes. Yeah, she's she's tall, bro. Um, hold on. Really? Yeah, 
wrestling will never work out for us. You can always go WNBA. She's <laughs> <laughs> got the height. She ain't got to <laughs> shoot. She just get the ball for him. Daddy. Daddy. Hey, bro. Daddy. I'm going to show y'all something. Because we said... We said Zoe Stark got an old face. Mmm. I'm done. Mm. Hey, Zoe. That, that, that looks like, uh... <laughs> what's, that, what's that joint? Lemony Snickets? Oh, my God. <laughs> Where is that? That's Zoe. That's Zoe Stark. Face. <laughs> let me let me let me let me give it a little bit. Let me give it a little bit more. Like she got, uh, I don't know. She got she got like a. <laughs> she do. All right. All right. Let's get to the segment. Let's get to the segment. Um, when they did do that pan around. Yeah, she is tall as shit, um, Raquel. Yeah. And I like I I actually like the segment. Um, yeah. What's her name? Um, Naya. Not Naya. The other one. Are oh, you talking about Shayna? Shayna need to get her motherfucking teeth fixed, man. She got the money, Yo. shorty. Like I got my eye fixed. Like why why can't she get her fixed? Like, bro, I, I said that like two weeks ago. I'm like, dang, bro, this is just real. Like, like you just need to, because it looked like she just all over. I the guess it's her character. I guess Yo, it is, yes, but you know, you know, some people don't do certain stuff for likeness. Yeah, so true, true. I'm gonna give y'all a crazy, a crazy person like Krishan Rock. She won't put a tooth in her mouth, bro. That's her image name. <laughs> yes, but she got it. She got it fixed though. But he took it back out. Oh, she did. Oh, damn. Because yeah. Boothley ain't like it, right? When nah. you when you still, bro, she don't have a tooth in her mouth. That's her image now. Mm. <laughs> yes, that's her her persona. That like yeah, that's, that, and that's so. Crazy. If I if I see you without the tooth, well, if I see you with a tooth, tooth I'm like, yeah. whoa. So I think but, that's her brand. I think she recognized yes. it. But that's different. It's it's. It, I get it. I get it. And 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 I do agree with it like i think she should because she looked funny with the tooth now that's crazy ain't it listen she need to put that motherfucker in her mouth i don't care how funny she looks. yeah if i'm fucking with you you need to put your motherfucking <clears throat> tooth in the mouth. hey look any dude that's talking to her after that debate <laughs> that's how they put a tooth in her mouth so. that's dead you gonna pick that one? what else we had we had um so on a lot of commercials they did little stuff for the crowd. Mm. That was cool. They had a little DX segment. Oh yeah. What what was that like? What was that? People going crazy, a lot of old heads and they throwing up exits. Mm. Like it was telling just a the crowd promo or I wasn't a promo, it was just like a cam, like a kiss cam it was a DX cam. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. yeah, and they just had the music playing and then everybody just doing a doing a DX thing. Uh, what else, man? What else? What else? Okay, so the main event they set up endless power. <laughs> yeah. For the main event, they made sure it was big. The power, because no, if you notice, nobody really had a lot of power. Like even when Cody came out in the beginning, they just gave him smoke. Everybody pretty much nah, kind of like he had hey. his pyro in the beginning. But not a lot, not a lot, not like the last one. Because even when Cody got in the ring, they had another pyro that shot off after that. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised even, they gave him both times though. Yeah, and I even seen like they drag, they dragged the pyro out and set it up and stuff. They ain't had that in the uh, beginning. They ain't had that one in the beginning. Mm. But it was, it was man. Listen, fellas, all of us got to get to one together. Absolutely, and that's gonna be crazy. But Rory Wumble ain't it? Cause them tickets. I was. I, I, I was sitting. I was. I was sitting behind somebody kid, and I know that kid was like, 
who the hell is this grown ass man behind me just keep yelling? <laughs> like he just kept looking back at me as far as like, turn around. <laughs> I was like, well, maybe it's you with the people's elbow, little boy. Hey, yo. <laughs> Catch some of these old moves in. But that that's what it do. It should bring the kid up out of you, yo. No, it was it was electric last night. And then it was just it was just cool because it's not a crowd full of kids. Like, regardless of what people were talking about, it's not a crowd full of kids, man. There's a lot of and women that be in that room. Listen, I was just about to say, bruh, people was taking a whole girlfriend on dates to Monday Night Raw. It's crazy. There was a couple sitting in front of me, they didn't even have no kids. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. They were sitting in front of me, they didn't even have no kids. That man was in there on a date. Man, it's crazy how many, how much women is, is into that, you know? And that's why when I went the, the two times. Looking for the other one, Green. To, to, to see the, all the women that was in there, I was like, "Yeah." Mm. Did Daddy have bite? No. Oh. No. I can't have bite. Oh man. Okay. Thank you. Yummy. This is yummy. <laughs> chocolate. Yummy chocolate. This yummy chocolate. How about um the one of the highlights of my night though so we leaving and it's crazy we came out where the garage is mm -hmm. i got my man up and triple h drove past in the past what the boys drove right at the garage in the suv right past us wow no so what like yeah the window, he he was in the driving seat or he, no, he, he was in the past, but the, the windows tinted that bad, like they weren't tinted that hard. Oh, yeah, oh, no. he was in the passenger seat, and they rolled right past. I know, man. Trip away, ball head. Oh, you, you, you was out there? Yeah. Uh, when we left, we ended up going out the entrance closest to the garage. Mm -hmm. So everybody's like packed in the garage trying to see what they see. Right. And I got my man up. Look. Triple H driving past. You saying him? Did you Triple say? That's what's up, man. Um, anything else on Raw tonight, people? Um, I think that's about it, man. Yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. Um, we appreciate you guys coming to the show today, and if you have lasted this long, an hour and fifty minutes, we go on up on. Um, we appreciate that. Send us an email. You, you you may get something. Or you can go to either one of our platforms and send us an inbox to let us know that you watched this whole show. And we probably will break you off with something. I don't know. But until then, we will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this um, review of Raw and our man. He was there like right there in the midst of right. everything yeah. baby you can't get better than that and we will be taking that part and you know making it its own video and um 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 bronx legend do you want to take us out i sure will y'all don't forget to follow us on instagram at inside storyline.podcast at tiktok inside storyline twitter storyline inside don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and most importantly don't forget to ring that motherfucking bell oh, ring that bell and mm -hmm. on top of that stay inside of the storyline because that's exactly what we are here for peace catch y'all on the next one